Hard disk errors or failure are rare but stressful events. It's natural to panic about the fate of your data and believe me, I feel your pain. Fortunately, most hard drive faults are minor and repairable with little or no loss of data. I'm going to show you how I approach diagnosis and repair with free software from Seagate. So let's go. Programs I use in this video will work with Windows or Linux PCs and are compatible with most brands of hard disk drives and SSDs. But first, a note about expectations. If your drive has been damaged by dropping, contact with liquid or extremes of heat or cold, you may need to either accept the loss or seek out a data recovery professional to save your data. Seagate is one of the world's leading manufacturers of hard drives and SSDs. The company generously makes its family of repair programs called C-Tools available for free to download from their website. Download both C-Tools for Windows and C-Tools for DOS. Skip the Windows part of this process if you're using a Linux PC. Links for both programs are in the video description. By the way, this video is not a simulation. It shows the actual repair of a faulty disk. The drive that I analysed and successfully repaired was this 3.5 inch mechanical hard disk drive. You can put your faulty drive into a docking station like this one, or analyse a drive inside your PC. The steps are identical. If you use a docking station, use one with a USB 3, Type-C or eSATA connection to speed up the process. If your drive is inside a laptop and your system won't boot, skip ahead to running C-Tools for DOS from a separate boot disk. If your PC is booting up properly, open C-Tools for Windows. Unless your fault is severe, your drive should appear in the list of available drives when the program opens. Select your drive. From the pull-down menus, select Basic Tests, Fix All, Fast. Press the F8 key. If your drive fails this test, you can run Basic Tests, Fix All, Long, but that can take hours if your disk is 500 gigabytes or larger, and it might not work. I recommend skipping this test and switching to C-Tools for DOS instead to improve your chances of success. The DOS version allows the repair program greater access to the hard drive than the Windows environment does, so it can sometimes fix faults that the Windows version can't. C-Tools has found drive errors and is now recommending that I download C-Tools bootable from Seagate's website. I'm going to use C-Tools for DOS here instead. Run the DOS version from a standalone boot disk. Burning a CD-ROM or DVD works well for desktop PCs. Watch my video on how to burn a .iso disk image onto a CD or DVD if you don't know how. Alternatively, you can flash the .iso disk image onto a USB stick and boot from that. Check out my video on using the free tool Rufus to see how that's done. OK, so now you have a new boot disk, you'll need to tell your computer to boot from that drive. You do this in BIOS. BIOS is usually accessed by pressing the F2 or delete key after switching on your computer. Now find boot order or boot priority and set the drive with your new boot disk in it to run first. Don't be thrown off if your BIOS environment looks different to mine. Make sure you exit and save then C-Tools for DOS will launch. The license agreement is a sobering reminder that you may experience data loss and that backing up first is a good idea. A personal note, I've used C-Tools for DOS to successfully repair two faulty drives of my own with 100% success rate and no data loss, so I'm comfortable recommending it. Okay, now from the first pull down menu, select Basic Tests, Short Test another test will run. If it fails again, take Seagate's advice and select Basic Tests, Long Test. If you're repairing a mechanical drive that's one terabyte or larger, Long Test really is an understatement. The analysis will take hours, so don't start this test if you need to use your PC for anything else urgently. Once the test is complete, C-Tools will suggest you repair any of the disk errors that it found. Click Done, and at the next prompt, click Repair This One and All Remaining. 
After the repairs, a short test runs to confirm that the repairs were successful. In my case, it's good news. Now you can click Exit. Now remove the CTools for DOS boot disk and restart your computer. Back in Windows, you should be able to see the drive you just repaired and use it like normal. Now is a great time to check the usage and overall condition of the repaired disk. I use the free program Crystal Disk Info for this. In this case, my disk is reportedly in good condition. That's a relief. If your disk has worked for over 30,000 hours, or this flag is yellow and reads caution, you might like to consider placing your hard disk on light duties and just use it for non-critical purposes in the future. If you try using CTools, let me know how it works out. If you need more help or have a request for a future video, let me know in the comments. For more tech tips like this, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.